for cheap Power World items and boosting services from DigiZanny, stock up on gold, materials and more for Power World. And using discount code HAM for a 5% discount, you can't go wrong. So it has now been a whole update cycle since I made a video like this. So this is a quick refresher. So last time I did this, it was in 0.1.4.1 and we are now in another new update of 0.1.5.1 in Power World. And right now I'm gonna be showing you how to capture and beat this guy right here, the Jetragon or Jet Dragon, however you wanna call it. As always, I'll be leaving a series of timestamps down in the description down below, just so you can skip to any part that you'd like and you can see which glitches are actually involved in this video. If you could like and subscribe to the channel, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much and enjoy the video. So first of all, as you can see, I have a PAL base right here. So if I go into my map, I can show you that I am right next to the Jet Dragon right here. So you can build the base, this is pretty much the closest you can get to it. So as you can just see in the settings right here, I am in the main menu. I have changed my daytime speed to 3.5. Just remember that because later on in the video, I will be showing you why this is so important. So for glitch number one, we have probably the easiest one possible to be honest. All you need is a flying mount and that is it. That is all you need for this. As shown on screen here, you need to be moving around, just avoiding the ranged attacks that it has. And once it runs out, it ends up actually chasing you. So what you can do is just leading it, chasing you just behind you, as you can see on screen. You do all of this right next to the cliff side, as you can see. And what you need to do is actually just lead it off the edge of the cliff. It is really, really simple to do. It'll start chasing you and then just go flying off the cliff and it will probably either die or it will do loads and loads of damage so you can either capture it or just finish it off. It is so simple to do. Try it for yourself right now. This next glitch is a very, very cool and easy one that you should try where you can get him to basically freeze and not attack you. And this is in this little area here, the rock pool. So obviously he's now going away because you need to actually aggro him while you're inside the rock pool. Right, here we go. So we now have him coming towards us so we can just aggro him like this. And while we are inside here, we now have to wait for him to come over to us right now. Come on, lad. Come on. Sometimes they'll just absolutely fly into it, but then you've got to avoid some of these attacks. Annoyingly, they just sit on the side. Come on. Are you in? There we go. So now we go onto this side here where the rock is. So we can just run over to this side now. And then as you can see like this, he is absolutely delusional. Cannot hit us at all. Even if I walk up here like this, bang, look at that. So we have a pal that can do ranged attacks, which is really, really handy, just like this. So we can end up chipping away at the health while he doesn't attack us back. It is such a good idea. This thing is so handy, honestly. I love this method. It's probably one of the easiest methods. It's not by far the easiest, but it's just quite satisfying just looking at him and then absolutely going ham and just setting it on fire. I could just sit here and do nothing. I could AFK this while my Relaxosaurus just goes ham. This next method is a really, really good one. It involves using the viewing cage. It's probably one of the best ways of getting it actually caught. In my opinion, it's also the safest way of battling it because it cannot hit you at all. There is barely any risk of this either. It is sick. I'm gonna show you it right now. So what we need to do is we actually need to get a viewing cage down somewhere on the floor. It's quite uneven around here, so it might be a bit difficult to find a spot. As you can see, it's a bit fiddly, but what I found was if you get rid of this little boulder over here, there we go, so we have a lot more room to play with now and we can just stick it on. We don't want it to be built. We want to leave it like this, that's absolutely fine. So on this back side of the viewing cage right here, we can actually build a stone foundation and a stone wall. So if we build the foundation and now, we build the stone wall on the other side. Perfect stuff. This involves us, we can actually get inside of the viewing cage without a problem. What we want to do now is wait for the Jetragon to come over to us, aggro it, and then run to the other side over there. Get it to run over here. There we go, beautiful stuff. So now it's on the other side. We can just climb on the wall and glitch ourselves in like this. It might attack you while it's in there, that's fine, because if you just angle yourself at some other point, he might not be able to hit you. Whoa. 
When you go to catch it in the PAL sphere, you have to be very careful as if it then breaks free, it will be inside the viewing cage. So you just need to be very careful and ready to throw the next sphere very quickly. As shown on screen right here. Beautiful stuff. And now, if you want to get out of this and you want to keep it for future exploits, that's why we built this thing right here. You can climb up the side of this wall right that, and it just lets you out at the top. So the reason why I changed the daily speed to 3.5 is because every single time you sleep in this game, it will respawn every pal or alpha pal in the game. So this makes it so you don't have to wait, I think it's an hour in real lifetime between each spawn. You can just sleep and he will respawn very, very quickly. So this next glitch right here is the unlimited Jetragon missile launcher. It's a very overpowered ability. Every time you shoot it, it will ragdoll on the floor and it's a very, very easy way of just beating it and cheesing the boss without even taking a single bit of damage. As you can see, every shot that you take that will hit him, he ends up getting ragdolled on the floor and cannot attack you. Sometimes it even cancels the attacks that it's got preparing. Once you get to the end of the ability and it's about to run out, all you have to do is open up your party, drop the pal onto the floor, click yes and then pick it back up and if you resummon it, it is completely restored and you can go again. It is such an easy little exploit, I like this a lot. So for this last glitch right here, we're going to show you the one shot method of how you can freeze it and then shoot it and it goes bang in the sky and you can kill it in one hit. It is so so easy to do. You can either use ice grenades or you can use an ice type pal. I'm going to use the pal in this video just because in my last video I showcased it with the ice grenades. If you want to go and see that, I'll leave a link to it down in the description down below. So we just need to aggro him or he might aggro on us automatically. There we go. So I'm just going to shoot him a little bit to get Chillet to go ahead and freeze him for me. If he could be so kind and do that for me. There we go. So we got absolutely flying in the sky. Sometimes it's a very weird way of going up. He doesn't go directly up. And it should just do a damn load of damage. 54k damage. There we go. So we're going to get all the way over to him right now. And we can just pick up all the stuff that it drops. And I'm over encumbered brilliant but there you go you can pick up everything that it drops it is sick once you've now caught it and you don't want to do it anymore you can simply do the butcher method this means you get every bit of loot from the jetragon every single time you butcher it and you can just keep the same one so this gives you a high chance of getting the rare schematic for the rocket launcher so this is brilliant trust me so you just need the mount for him so you can get on just like this and also the meat cleaver of course so we hold the meat cleaver go to actually butcher the Jetragon and after the second slice we then go to mount it like so and you can see on the left hand side I get all of the actual stuff that it would drop including the precious dragon stone which it would only drops if it's the alpha pal and now obviously he's dead and if you try and bring him back out it just falls through the floor you can just butcher it again and do this as many times as you want it does not matter There we go, and we get the rocket launcher schematic. Fantastic, oh, I'm buzzing with that, that's sick. There we go. So if you want to actually get him back out, it's very easy, all you have to do is go into the party, drop it like so, and then pick it back up, and you can just resummon him, and he's all good to go again. 